All right, good morning traders. Today is October 26, 2023. My SPY pivot this morning, 418.84. Above it, I'm a bull. Below it, I'm a bear. All four indices in the FNGU remain in daily downtrends. SLV and GLD, precious metals, also remain in daily downtrends, although they are on the verge of creating new uptrends. The bears are in control. Spy dollar, excuse me, a dollar index, U.S. dollar index, can still consolidating over 105.50. USO crude oil consolidating over 74. Still, UNG looks like it has made a second higher low on the daily chart. Something to think about as uh, we blasted through that channel. Last week, maybe we can get back above it this week. SPY weekly chart now has made contact with a rising 50 SMA for the first time. I'm going to say as of today, there's no sign of a bounce. Although I believe SPY weekly has a date with the rising 200. We'll see. All right, good news domestically. Congress has elected a new Speaker of the House, so we can get things going again. Now, if we could only see an end to the conflict in the Middle East, we could really see a, a rally develop, I believe. So let's go take a look at some charts. Take this down, move this up, pull up the daily chart, squeeze this out. So... I've got these spy pivots, excuse me, these spy targets, downside targets, and I shared them. Um, actually, I shared them up in the alerts up there, but these are the spy targets right here. If you want to take a picture, I will pause it for a second. You can see they filled the gap overnight. We had a small gap right here. Let me pull up the 10 minutes so you can see it. So there's the gap, and you can see uh, overnight price action. They came down here and filled the gap. So we could be in the midst of a bounce. I'm thinking it's probably going to head back towards those anchored VWAPs. So we'll see what happens this morning. Uh, but here's the gap. We had a gap between 415, excuse me, yeah, 415.25 and 414.65. And in the pre-market, they made lows of 414.08 down here. Okay, so they already filled the gap for us. It would have made a nice target while price was up here. But uh, they already did it, so we'll see what happens if they're going to all right, swing it back up to this consolidation and see what they do when they get there. And uh, we'll see what happens or if they want to dive lower. We'll see what happens. Again, here's the pivot, 418.84. You can see we came down here and hit it uh, the first part of the day or in the early in the a.m. Looks like about 10.30. Uh, and then we came back and hit it again. Looks like about 12.30, and in the, in the aftermarket hours, we, we, we tagged it one more time in the after hours. And I have that right here. You can see we came back and tagged it right there, this green candle there, right there. So came back and snapped it one more time. So that's my pivot, 418.84. Above it, I'm a bull. Below it, I'm a bear. Back to the daily chart, all right? So here's daily price action, lower high, lower low. Uh, gapping down this morning, so again, we're making another lower low. Uh, we got anchored VWAPs. I anchored one at the, let's go to the daily. All right, I've got, I've got one anchored at the low over here of this consolidation, and one anchored at the high of this consolidation right there. So we got about uh, five days, six days of consolidation up here. I anchored it at the high. Got about four days of consolidation over here. I anchored it at the low. As you can see, price is moving away from the anchored VWAPs. 
indicating money is moving out of the market. Uh, I believe this still has more to go. I think it has a date with the rising 200. We'll see what happens, but that is our anchored VWAPs and price is moving away from it at this time. Uh, it may have filled the gap and may turn around at some point today. So there's the SPY daily. Uh, back out, we have lower highs and lower lows. Bears got the job done. Now let's see if the bulls can do something. All right, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. Definite downtrend here. You can see price action, the three EMA and the T-line all underneath our trend indicator and our anchored VWAPs. All right, so SPY in a down downtrend. Let's take a look at QQQ. QQQ doing the same thing. Again, anchored VWAP located at the low, anchored VWAP located at the high, and price is moving away from the anchored VWAPs. Money is coming out of the QQQ. Okay, we have a downtrend channel right through here. I would expect uh, price action to probably come all the way down here to 341.87 sometime in the near future. We'll see what happens. They are at 346.57 right now, so they're about halfway there. So QQQ, yesterday's candle, lower high, lower low. Daily chart pattern, lower high and lower low. Nothing bullish on the QQQ at this time. FNGU. FNGU, daily candle, lower high, lower low. Probably has a date with the midpoint. You can see it's already there. It's already at 133.14. So there we go. FNGU still in a daily downtrend with a lower high and making a lower low right now. So FNGU, we do have a little mini head and shoulders filling out here on FNGU. And I'll draw a pivot, I'll draw a neckline in there. So you can see there's price action spiking the neckline right there. There's a little, it's a little mini head and shoulders where um, right here would be the left shoulder. Right here is the right shoulder. You can see this would be the neck, left neck, right neck, crash. Right there, FNGU coming down to the midpoint. Still in a daily downtrend with lower highs and lower lows. Yesterday's candle, big red candle, lower high, lower low. Nothing bullish yet on FNGU. Let's take a look at Diamond Dow. The Diamond Dow is doing something a little bit different. We do have lower highs and lower lows. Diamond Dow failed yesterday to break the low of the previous day. It could only get uh, kind of an inside day for Diamond Dow. Uh, to the previous day's trading range. So Diamond Dow showing just a little bit of strength here. And but still in a downtrend with lower highs and lower lows. And the daily candle got uh, just an inside day right there. Maybe a little bit lower lower high. Yeah, by about a couple pennies or something. Diamond Dow still in a downtrend. Nothing good to report there. IWM, IWM, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. Daily candle, lower high, lower low, and we're gapping down this morning. So more selling happening in the IWM, crashing through some of the major support area. See right here, that's consolidation, crashing through the major support. Things are not looking good. Here's the previous. We're all the way down to previous pivots here. We've got a pivot. Uh, here's a low. Got another low. Put the crosshairs up. Put the crosshairs up. 
you can see we're testing those lows right now so markets kind of falling apart uh, looking like they're ready to start challenging the COVID lows here so not looking too good this will be the next area of influence would be the top of that looks like 159.43 so we'll see what happens there's IWM on the daily chart nothing bullish to report just crashing through the uh, major support that's all just falling apart IWM let's take a look at SMH SMH still on a downtrend with lower highs and lower lows. Yesterday's candle, lower high, lower low. Still more selling happening in the SMH. Nothing bullish to report there. IYT. Transports. Lower highs, lower lows. Uh, again, here is the uh, major support right here to 13.92. Uh, probably going to test that today uh, at the open. We'll see how far they get, but there's some major support on the IYT getting tested. Major support on SMH being tested. Uh, let's take a look at XLF. XLF, we have major support right through here, 3150. So SM XLF lower highs and lower lows yesterday's candle a little bit different um, it's green didn't expect that XLF is green uh, got a lower high and a lower low but still uh, not the same candle as the other indices so we do have some blue skies over here in the financials. If they could uh, just stay clear of the major support area, things could look good. <clears throat> so XLF might be a uh, beacon of bright light there. We'll see what happens. Keep an eye on those financials like the JP Morgans and the Goldman Sachs. See what they're doing. A little bit of strength showing up here in XLF. All right, so let's look at some indices. T2122. Yeah, we came out of the chop zone, back into the oversold zone. Stayed there all day long with a lower high and a lower low. So it's going to be, a, that was a yesterday, was a selling day. As you can see, T2123 showed us the same thing. Red from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. Rebar is not going to be much different, just a little bit more space between Trendicator and the price action. Still red on the T21, oh, excuse me, 23. FNGU, red from the very first candle to the very last candle. Nothing bullish happening in FNGU. Probably more selling. They got the lower high. Uh, the bull bears are going to want to make a lower low, as you can see in the pre-market. We're already down here, 132. Uh, they will have accomplished the task that they were set out to do, which is make the lower low. So FNGU getting crushed again this morning. Let's look at the dollar index. No, let's go look at let's go look at precious metals. SLV. Our SLV staging a pretty good rally coming back all the way to here. Looking like it's setting up a little inverse head and shoulders right between, well, this area right here. That would be a left shoulder. That would be a left neck. And it looks like it's going to probably set up a right shoulder. And we could have an inverse head and shoulders on SLV. Uh, you can see SLV fell out of the consolidation channel. Now it climbed back up into it. Uh, SLV looking like it's ready to set a higher low pretty soon. Hasn't quite given us that pullback that I'm looking for, but right there you can see 
we have a pullback to the T-line, which could be a pullback. And we could see another higher high after we bounce off the T-line, if that's what they're going to do. So SLV looking bullish here. On the hourly, got a higher low here or consolidation, making a higher high. So hourly could transition into a daily. We'll see what happens. So there's SLV climbing back into the uptrend channel. All right, so let's take a look at GLD. All right, so here's GLD. Let me get another chart. There's the consolidation wedge. That's that bullish consolidation wedge. We fell out of it. And then you can see we rallied back up through. Uh, this would have been resistance. Back through the resistance. <clears throat> and then this would have also been diagonal resistance. This was horizontal resistance. And then here's diagonal resistance as we crash through that. And we made our way all the way up to the other side. All that's left for GLD to do, it's got the higher high, just needs to produce the higher low. Uh, haven't seen it do that yet. like to see it rest and make that higher low. And that would give us something to, uh, to pin a stop on should we want to go bullish on GLD. So there's GLD at this time. USO. There's crude oil. Crude oil continues to consolidate over 74, right over this area right here. You see it's waffling back and forth. I'd like to see that continue till the end of the year, in reality. Just uh, kind of just, just consolidate, make a nice base, make a nice foundation to blast off from. UNG, net gas. All right, so we have the, here's the low. We got the higher low. We got the higher high. Could we have a second higher low right here? We'll see. I'd like to see uh, Nat Gas get back up through the trendicator. So looking forward to seeing Nat Gas produce some bulls. Will the bulls step in and start uh, buying up some Nat Gas? We'll see what happens. Uh, we got the precious metals are to have a stage in a rally, but not getting the same thing out of crude oil or not gas. So we'll see what happens here. We do have the higher low. If they can make it up past the midpoint on this second higher low, any candle up, any green candle up over, well, 736 would look like an interesting buy opportunity for me. Uh, until then, I don't want to be part of somebody's sell up, sell setup. So we'll wait till we get up. Uh, for me, I'm going to wait till about 7, 7.35, 7.30 area. So there's, there's Nat Gas doing, the, doing a little bit of the right stuff there. Got the higher low, second higher low. Doing good. We'll see if it can get back up to the midpoint. All right, let's go look at the dollar index, and we'll blow this up. This is the dollar index, dollar rallying from 105.50 all the way back to uh, about the 107 level here. You see here's the dollar daily chart, doing a, a bull 180 right here, two, two days ago. So dollars rallying back up towards there. It's, uh, for me, still consolidating over 105.50. So bullish dollar is not good for our markets. Bullish dollar makes our goods and services more expensive overseas. I think we got GDP today. Speaking of uh, goods and services overseas, I think we got GDP today. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Well, let's just go there now. So last night, uh, Mr. Powell spoke at 4.30. I don't know if that's what caused further selling, but he spoke at 4.30. I didn't see any rally stage, so I'm going to <coughs> suggest that 
It's a possibility he didn't do anything to help the markets either. Okay, he didn't do anything to... For today, got durable goods, 830. GDP, gross domestic product, 830. Uh, international trade in goods, 830. Jobless claims, 830. Whole lot of data coming out at 830. All right, so... Uh, we could see changes in direction. We'll see what happens. Let's watch it and see what they want to do from that uh, gap fill area. If they want to head back towards anchored VWAP or if they're going to go crashing through that uh, gap fill area. Tomorrow, personal income and outlays at 8.30. Earnings calendar. Let's take a look at the earnings. See if I got the right day. All right, Amazon is a big boy. Only a trillion, only a one and a third trillion dollars, Amazon. Going to report tonight after the close. MasterCard, $364 billion. Merck, $261 billion. Comcast, about $179 billion. So, and UPS, $127 billion. Got some big boys reporting tonight. The biggest one is Amazon. Um, but uh, we got some big boys reporting this morning, like MasterCard, Merck, and Comcast. So we'll see what happens. Comcast could move uh, the uh, communication sector, while Merck could move um, the pharmaceutical sector. So we'll see what happens this morning and that's it for me this morning um, again got the spy anchored off the VWAPs okay if price is moving back towards VWAP money's coming in <coughs> excuse me if money's moving uh, if price is moving away from the anchored VWAPs money is coming out now keep in mind on the weekly chart we just hit the rising 50, which is right there on the weekly. You can see right there, we just hit the rising 50. So we'll see what it wants to do, if it's going to get some spinach there or not. Usually on a nice rising 50 for the first time, you can pick up some spinach, you get that Popeye effect, and you get a rally going on. So we got a new speaker. We just hit the 50. We could see a turnaround. We'll see what happens. All right. So there's the spy. I have my hopes, but I'm not going to get uh, invested till we get 50% of the way there. All right. So I will talk to the rest of you in YouTube land at about four o'clock to, to tonight. And for everybody in the room, I'm going to take questions.